Hello out of towners. We are here in the United Club at LAX because today we are going to Italy. Yes, and we are currently in one of the phone call rooms because it was the only quiet place that we could find to do this. And people are giving us weird looks. Yeah, but it's fine. So today what we're going to be doing is actually talking about, because this is a long haul flight, talking about the top 10 things that we like to bring on these flights that help us survive it. Um, and so you're going to be doing five and I'm going to be doing five. And so honey, why don't you start us off? We are flying today. I think it's, we have like an 18 hour travel day. So we fly a long haul flight from LAX to London and then we connect. We actually have to change airports in London and then go on to Italy. So it's a long travel day. And the first thing, most important thing that I need on long haul flights are noise canceling headphones. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter which brand you get. I don't really know. These are Bose. They are Bose QC25s. Uh, the QC35s are the replacements now and they're completely wireless, which is nice. These are not, this is not sponsored. Nothing in this video is, is sponsored. If you want to sponsor us though, out of town browns at Gmail. So Bose noise, oh my God. <laughs> Did you see that? I almost wet myself in the face. Bose noise canceling headphones. Cancels out the crying babies. Honestly, you guys, if I didn't have these, I would, I, I couldn't, I couldn't be on the plane. Like it's once you have them, you can't go back. So that's my number one. Yeah. All right, let's pound them out. Or actually, we need to go board. So yeah, we're, we're running a little bit late. We're just hustling through this. Um, the next thing I have are essential oils. So you know when you're on the plane and someone next to you kind of smells and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna vomit. Well, that happened to me too many times. So I carry two essential oils with me when I fly. These are from Sage Wellness. There's one's from Sage and then one's from Ulta. I don't think it matters. I mean, it might matter where you get them from. I don't know, they all work for me. So the two I fly with are lavender and peppermint. Peppermint I use for really strong smells and also for headaches. I just do a peppermint kind of halo around my head and then the lavender I use to help me fall asleep. The next thing on my must have for long haul flights is makeup wipes. So I love these little individually packed ones so you don't have to worry about them drying out. I am not wearing any makeup right now and I really, really suggest you ladies and gentlemen don't wear makeup on overnight flights. It's bad for your skin, honey. You're gonna get a pimple when you wake up, okay? Number four, compression socks. This looks kind of weird. Oh. <laughs> Are these clean? I hope so. And in the past couple years, every time I'm on a flight over four hours long, I wear compression socks. It helps so much with my body not being achy when we get there. I don't care what people think, I'm wearing them. And last but not least, my must have for a long haul flight is a scarf because I like to make my scarves into blankets because sometimes the airline blankets are kind of gross. And it's like, do they clean them? Do they not? You can just hope. I bring a, I bring a scarf. I bring a blanket. And I make it into a blanket. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm done. Those are my five. So my five things, and actually they're four because I forgot my fifth one, but it's fine. I'm going to go through and one of my things that drives me nuts, and my wife can attest to this, is dirty lenses and sunglasses and just anything. And so this is a microfiber cloth. So I actually have two of them with me because it just cleans everything, which is awesome. Cleaning the iPad, cleaning lenses, cleaning cameras, everything. Then I have what helps me survive the trip which is an iPad mini. And the reason why it's an iPad mini is just simply because of how easy it is to use in terms of the size of it. It's easy to live with. And also I use it for flying the drone. So it pulls double duty. And my wife, when I forget the uh, Kindle, uh, she can use it to read her books. Then we have my chargers. We've got a set of chargers that we use for charging all of our stuff when we travel. And it charges my, car, my computer, my watches, our phones, and then we also have a battery bank. And so that way we can easily charge all of our stuff while we're on the go. This is an anchor power, uh, anchor charger. And so this works off of the wall. It'll work off of 110 or 210, which is great when you travel. And then this guy is a MyCharge multiple adapter, which is awesome because it actually has the cables built into it. So you can actually just plug your device direct in. And when you're ready to charge it, you can flip out these little prongs and plug it directly into the wall and it'll just charge itself. So it's just really easy, one less thing to forget, which is awesome. And then my last thing, and this is just kind of when I'm weird, is I love my water. 
And so having a water bottle with me, especially one that has a hook on it, so that way I can hook it onto my bag or onto the uh, the seat back, it makes it much easier to live with. And I love having a lot of water because you get really hydra uh, dehydrated when you fly. And there's all of mine and I'm done. No, you forgot one. What, which one? Oh, see, this is the reason I have a wife because I forget everything. Um, and the last thing is actually a change of clothes. And this is something we both do. And it's mainly because we've had it hurt us before is when you're traveling around, you don't always know that your clothes are gonna come with you, especially if you're putting them underneath. And so I always bring a pair of underwear and a t-shirt. So at least that way, I don't have to wear that stuff again if the worst case happens. You guys remember in Spain when our bags were lost and we didn't have anything. So we have learned from that. And now we always travel, both of us travel with a change of clothes in our backpacks, not in our rollers, just in case for some reason they make us check our rollers, even though we always carry on when we travel, and just in case we have one in our backpacks. So those are our top 10 essentials for long haul flights. We hope you guys enjoyed it and come with us the rest of the day as we fly to London and then on to Rome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. She actually studied abroad in Italy and I have actually never been to Italy. So going to some place that kind of was those formative years for her and getting to experience it, I'm super excited and she'll be even more excited when she gets there. Ciao. 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 We need to go. Yeah. Oh, we need to go more. of travel down and eight more to go. Just a little bit more. We're waiting for our car transfer here in Gatwick. We booked through, no, we're in Heathrow. We booked through Heathrow Gatwick car transfers. I can mm -hmm. link that down below for you guys. And we're just waiting for the guy to get here. Not sure if we're in the right spot. We might have to ask a couple of questions, but. Yeah, we don't know how this works. So we'll figure it out. We got lattes. Oh, geez, that's close. Iced coffee. Life is good. You want to talk us in? We're on our way to flight number two. Don't have my sunglasses. We are flying from Gatwick to Roma. It has like five different rooms, two different bathrooms, so much space for all these people that are traveling with us. So much room for activities. I know, that's an 18 hour <laughs> travel day. We did it. We're gonna go get some pizza and go to the Trevi Fountain after we unpack and get settled in. Woohoo!
ciao. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Cheers. Cheers. Buongiorno. Ciao. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Could you be there?